हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पैसे केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज स्पिन क्रॉसओवर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द एमएससी स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज अवर सीएसआईआर नेट स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दिस टॉपिक दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड विद द बोथ योर क्रिस्टल फील्ड थ्योरी यूनिट एज वेल एज वेन वी आर स्टडिंग द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ट्रांजिशन मेटल आइटम्स सो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इज दिस स्पिन क्रॉस सो स्पिन क्रॉस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्पिन ट्रांजिशन और स्पिन इक्लिप Equilibrium behavior, because in this we will, uh, as we discuss about na transition, so spin will change from one spin state to another, or it will come in the equilibrium state. So we have to study the phenomena in detail. So just by definition, we can say that spin crossover is a phenomena that occurs in the metal complexes where spin state of a complex changes. due to the external stimulus or external factor so what is spin crossover phenomena it is a phenomena that occurs in the metal complexes generally which metal complexes of our transition metals 3d series aapko pata hi hai that is our scandium vanadium titanium so transition metal complexes where spin state spin state of complex changes due to an external factors so what are these external factors like temperature pressure or our radiations anything it can be so just uh, see one example i have taken here if suppose this is our d6 configuration so we know that there will be six electrons na so if we can say that if we will arrange all the electrons in the type of the manner Uh, the two G and will be our E G in the octahedral splitting. So if all the electrons are paired, so this is known as low spin state or spin paired condition. And this what as you will get plus half minus half plus half minus half plus half minus half. So spin will be zero here. So this condition is known as low spin state. Now just see this. If we arrange the six electron. in our high spin state means maximum number of unpaired electron we will get so this state is known as high spin state or spin free state so if suppose how this is possible means just we are talking about our low spin and low spin converted to our high spin so how is it possible we have just changed the temperature so if we increase the temperature the electrons can undergo the pairing or the electron can also undergo the uh, means they can unpaired they can uh, become unpaired also so this phenomena of changing of an spin state from one spin state to another can be termed as the spin crossover so maximum what type of the uh, our metal ions show this behavior iron 3 plus in our Our, uh, d uh, d5 configuration our iron 2 plus and cobalt 3 plus and our cobalt 2 plus so just let us have a look on this so if we have seen d5 so how we can arrange this five electrons we know that the maximum capacity of the d subshell is 10 electrons and we split them t2g and eg so if it is t2g case sorry if it is t2g and we have five electrons so we can fill the five electrons like this 1 2 3 4 and 5 and we don't have any electrons in the eg will be empty okay so t2g will have how many electrons here five itself occupied now this is the when there is less number of unpaired electron this is known as low spin configuration and where there are more number of unpaired electrons it is known as your high spin if it is t2g5 and we have to arrange in a high spin so we will write 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be t2g3 and eg2 so this case is observed in the iron 3 plus metal ions now next d6 configuration when it is t2g6 so it is possible now we can arrange all the electron in the t2g itself and eg will be zero so we can write it here t2g6 and eg is zero here next t2g in the high spin state so we will give the more number of unpaired electrons so first we will give single single to all and we will pair it so what we will have t2g4 and eg Two. So this is uh, case is seen in the example of iron two plus and cobalt three plus state. Next is D seven. So we can uh, D seven. Now so there is possibility for the low spin state. All the T two G will be paired and our E G will occupy one electron. In the case of high spin condition, maximum number of unpaired electron can be our three. So four are paired and these three are unpaired. So this is the case how the electrons. 
uh, just read themselves, fill themselves in the case of low state configuration and high state configuration. So the thing is that how these low state changes to high spin state. So what we have studied in the spin crossover, if suppose this is a low state configuration and if by changing the temperature or the pressure they change to the high spin condition so that will be termed as the spin crossover so just uh, we can see the theory so all the metals have two spin states either their complexes will have high spin or they will arrange their electrons in the low spin state so when the metal ions changes from our states means high spin state to low spin state as there is less energy difference between low spin and high spin so they can easily switch by any external stimulus like temperature photo radiations pressure etc means there is a not much difference between the energy state of our high spin and the low spin condition so that's why they can easily change from high spin to low spin and low spin to high spin by the changes in the temperature pressure photo irradiation etc and if the complexes change their spin state it will leads to change in their magnetic properties means spin crossover phenomena is directly related with the magnetic susceptibilities of the metal so this phenomena is very important if we change the spin state it will also change the magnetic property or the depend up, dependence of the high spin and the low spin states of the on our delta value so what is delta i hope you know crystal field splitting energy and if it is for the octahedral complexes it is represented by delta o so just we can take an example of our iron complexes and if we can say that this is our fe3 plus so what is atomic number of iron it is 26 and so we can write it as 3d6 4s2 and if it is uh, what we are saying that we want fe3 plus now so 3 plus means we have to eliminate our if it is our 3d orbitals and this is our 4s orbital and so what first we will do we will eliminate these two electron and 3d6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so if we want our 3 plus so we have to eliminate one more electron so when it will lose three electrons it will be having five unpaired electrons okay so we have five unpaired electrons here so when we have five unpaired electrons there is the possibility which type of ligand is there if the ligand is our weak field ligand if the ligand is our weak field ligand so the possibilities of high spins are always there so just you can learn the uh, just how you will remember that weak field now nah? so we have the possibilities of high spin so up now you are doing homework now nah, in uh, lower classes so just make it as wh or homework okay so when the high spins are there weak field ligands uh, weak field uh, weak field ligands will make the complexes to remain in the high spin and if we have our low spin complexes so spin paired complexes it means that they will be in the presence of very very strong field so for this code you can take ls means if the ligand is very very strong the complex will undergo low spin so now what is the condition here here we have to check the distance of the delta is less here and this is very high so if the now what we are learning in the spin crossover if we uh, create any stimuli like change in the temperature pressure so our high spin state can change into the low spin state or low spin state can change to the high spin state so there is an inter intermediate energy where these two of the high spin and the low spin complexes can remain intermediate means at this energy they can be in the equivalence so this diagram you can understand and learn so there are some examples more examples or the more diagrams which we can explain in the spin crossover so now let us look and the tanavis so now so geno diagram uh, i hope you have gone through the details of it so we will not uh, discuss the detail but what you have to see the two ground uh, two term symbols are given that is our 5 t2g and 1 a1g so in this case just we have to check that if in changes in the and this diagrams explains the changes in the energy of our 5t2g and 1a1g with increasing delta o for the octahedral d6 complexes so what how we will see that when the ligand is our weak field 
सो जस्ट वी डिस्कस ना सो होमवर्क लिखा है मैंने है ना सो इट मीन्स दैट वेन द लिगैंड इज वीक फील्ड हाई स्पिन कॉम्प्लेक्सेज विल ऑकर ओके सो देअर विल बी मोर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड वेन द लिगैंड इज अवर लो लिगैंड इज अवर स्ट्रॉन्ग इट विल अंडर गो द पेयरिंग सो वेन द पेयरिंग विल टेक्स प्लेस we will have our low spin complexes but at certain point they will undergo crossover means at this point both the type of the possibilities are there so they will cross at one point and this point is known as spin crossover point at this spin crossover point the energy of the different energy difference between our 5t2g and 1a1g remain is very very small so easily high spin complexes can convert to low spin complexes and low spin complexes can also change to the high spin so we can say that at this spin crossover point they coexist so students our next one more example i will discuss this land uh, the topic may be lengthy but if you want to write you can make diagrams in the exam so you can score the more marks because diagrams are easy so now we can see that this iron is having two types of the ligands weak field as well as your strong field so this diagram is related with the magnetic moment of our iron complexes so just you can see the magnetic moment uh, you already know that if the number of unpaired electrons are 4 so the magnetic moment's value will be coming like 5.0 something if it is one, uh, one unpaired electrons so the magnetic moment value will be 1.0 something like so if we can see that on this x axis we have drawn the temperature axis and here on the y axis we are representing the magnetic susceptibility in the bohr magneton so what happens students here when we will starting the temperature is less and the as we the temperature rises the complex change undergo to the high spin means at the high temperature more number of electrons are there but as the temperature is decrease the electrons number also decreases the number of unpaired electrons also decreases means as the temperature increases high spin is preferred and as the temperature decreases low spin complexes is preferred so high spin will have more number of electrons unpaired and low spin have less number of unpaired electron so students i hope uh, this uh, this example is also clear so you can write and but at this temperature 174 kelvin both the state means our high spin and the low spin will uh, cross over each other so this is the we can say that spin cross over temperature we can just to say that so this is second example now one more point we can discuss in the details that one more uh, diagram i have collected uh, sorry one more example is this that there are in the solid state an important feature of the spin crossover is existence of the cooperativity between the magnetic centers which leads uh, which can also leads to the hysteresis loop so when we are in the solid states now so what happens we have the graph like uh, this type of the loop so these are known as the hysteresis loop so hysteresis loop occur with some spin crossover means whenever we are studying some solids so sometimes uh, here we can see that percentage of the high spin complexes is given and this is the temperature so as the temperature rises this type of the loop will appear means they will undergo towards the high spin is observed one more graph is there so you can see in this graph there are three types of the colored uh, so this uh, first a is known as abrupt b is known as your gradual and c is known as your even stepped so just we can say that sometime this hysteresis loop we have seen na so they can undergo the different different types of the changes as per the temperature changes so high spin will also changes slowly so just we can see that if the d6 complex is of low spin means what we are saying that if we will make the d6 complex low spin means what we have our such type of the condition like सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है आपके पास एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो हेयर वॉट वॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एस यू विल गेट ऑल द स्पिन विल कैंसिल इच अदर एंड यू विल हैव एस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो बट इन द केस ऑफ अवर हाई स्पिन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो वॉट वी हैव डन इफ इट इज ए डी सिक्स कंडीशन एंड इट इज हाई स्पिन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो वॉट यू विल गेट प्लस हाफ प्लस हाफ प्लस हाफ प्लस हाफ सो एस विल बी इक्वल्स टू जी टू सो हेयर इफ वी कैन से दैट इन द डी सिक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स इज लो स्पिन एस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड इफ इट इज हाई स्पिन इज इक्वल्स टू टू सो एबो थ्री 
ट्वेंटी थ्री टेम्परेचर द ट्रांजिशन कैन टेक्स प्लेस मीन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ग्राफ्स आर पॉसिबल फर्स्ट इज एब्रप्ट पिंक कलर हैव शोन बी इज अवर ग्रेजुअल स्लोली इट विल टर्न फ्रॉम अवर लो टू हाई स्पिन एंड सी इज योर इवन स्टेप सो दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी एक्सप्लेन discuss about the relation of spin crossover or our uh, like pairing energy and so what happens if we will discuss that if the pairing energy is more then the octahedral complex is splitting so the complex will prefer high spin or spin free and if we have more value of delta o then pairing energy then low spin complex is appears so just we can see that if in the normal condition normal pressure tamp conditions high high pressure will be there low spin complex will be there and if the low pressure is there high spin complex will be there so we can conclude if the temperature is less low spin if the temperature is high high spin if the volume is small low spin and if the volume is large high spin so you can say that low spin when high pressure temperature low and small volume means pressure and temperature we know are inversely proportional so same here if the high pressure is there low spin complexes will be there if temperature is low low spin complexes will be there and also less volume also favors the low spin complexes if the pressure is low high spin complexes result temperature is high high spin complexes and large volume also favor the high spin complexes so spin crossover example some more examples like many geological systems and also the we can also see this in the binding of oxygen to the hemoglobin so last we can conclude that if in and the complexes the ligand field is weak then we get high spin ground state at all the temperature so what we can conclude that if we will get if the complexes the ligand field is weak so i told you na if the ligand field is weak what you will get you will get your high spin complexes and if the ligand field is strong ls okay so you have to remember two term hw homework and your russell sanders coupling na ls coupling so if the ligand field is strong then we will get the low spin complexes so in many cases high spin and the low spin complexes are separated only about the thermal energy prevailing or below the room temperature and magnetic properties of the complexes changes as a function of temperature so i hope this is all for your spin crossover if it is lengthy just make the diagram and write a little bit thanks for watching do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends <laughs>